So in this short video, I'm going to show you two things. One is the autocomplete of variables, which is going to help you a lot when writing the variables. And the second thing is the order of operations. Right now, I have a blank new Jupyter notebook. I'm going to zoom in like this. And here, I'm going to come and write, let's say, x equal 5, y equal 10, print, y plus x. Shift, enter. It's going to run the code for me, and it's going to show me the output in the same file. Here, if you remember, it was nothing, and now it's 1, which means this code was executed. And right now, here, I'm going to write, let's say, hello equal to hello to welcome to this course and then i'm going to write print for me the hello now when i wrote h e i pressed tab and in tab it showed me help hex and hello so i'm going to choose hello which is this variable and then shift enter and now if you guys see i have number one here number two here which means the first code was executed this one and the second code was executed this one so i'm going to create another variable called by which is going to be good by and then print by shift enter and i'll have good by here now what i'm going to do here if you guys see i have one two three because i'm uh doing it uh in the same order first this code was executed then this code was executed and then this code was executed so i'm just going to come here and instead of hello welcome to this course i would say Hi, my name is Fahad. Now I'm going to run this code by clicking on run here, or I can just press shift enter. And now I have the new variable or the value, but I wanted to pay attention here. One, it was one, and then this was two, and this was three. So the two, it's gone. And now this one is four, which basically means that the first code was executed with this one, and the second code was executed in somewhere else, but we know that it's here. And the third code was executed this one, and the fourth code, which is the last code until now, was executed this one. So this number tells you the uh, number of code uh, that was executed. This is how you know. This is the first thing I would I want you to know in this video. The second thing is the autocomplete. Here I have hello x y and by. So I have let's just use hello and by. I'm going to write print open parentheses and now I have four variables available which is x and y and hello and by. These four variables available in my uh ram okay in my memory so i'm going to write print hello i'm just going to write h e and i'm going to press tab and then i'm going to see that i have a hello and help and hex so i'm going to choose hello but instead of choosing hello i'm just going to write l and i'm going to press tab and i can see that i still have hello and help but if i write another l now I only left with hello, so it's going to complete for me by like this. Okay, then press plus and B tab, and I can see all these commands. The one that I want is this one, by. And shift enter, and I can see, hi, my name is Fahad, goodbye. Because hello is, hi, my name is Fahad and bye is goodbye so that's why it was like this now to fix this issue i just can come here and add a space and then run this again 
I can fix it from here and run. And now it's working fine. So when we create variables, and let's say you forgot the name of the variable and you only remember the first few uh, letters, let me just show it to you again. Just kind of here and I'm going to add a new cell. And I'm going to write here greetings equal hello my awesome students so here i want to, to run it i'm going to run it. it it ran but i didn't print it out because i'm going to print it here so i'm just going to write plus and i'm going to write g and i'm going to press tab and i can see all the commands that i have i want greetings so i'm going to write here r and you see it, it it's showing me that greetings is available as a variable i can just choose tab and it's going to complete for me i'm going to run it and i can see that hi my name is fahad goodbye hello my awesome students just come here and i'm going to run it and then i'm going to run it again and now it's perfectly fine so in this short video all i want you to know is the order of operation if you guys can see here i have one and then i have there is no two and the third one is here because it, it remained the same then i have 8 12 13 so and two and four and five and six and seven they will get overwritten so the I, I can see that the highest number i have is 13 and 12 which means the last two uh cells that run it was this one and it was this one okay this is all you have to know in this video the order of operation and how the cells were executed and the autocomplete of variables which will be helpful a lot because in the future videos i will be just writing the first few letters of the variable i'm going to press tab and it's going to complete it for me hope this video was short and sweet and i will see you in the next video